With Street Fighter 6 being less than two months away, I wanted to sit down and check out all the new designs that the cast have been given. We're also going to look at the character models from Street Fighter 5 to really compare who had the best glow up. I think it goes without saying that this is the best that Street Fighter has ever looked in terms of just character drippiness and overall style. I was never a fan of the last couple of Street Fighter character models, but now in Street Fighter 6, I think Capcom has finally hit the perfect balance between realism and fiction. But before we get into it, guys, I'm Triz. Make sure you hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button. It helps me out more than you know. Thanks in advance for doing it because I know you did it because I know you're just that awesome. All right, let's go check out the drip. Mr. Ryu. Honestly, check out this design first off. This design is so damn good for a lot of reasons. Like he looks more serious as a character off rip just by his like demeanor and his attitude. We have the sash with the wooden, I guess that's like a symbolic or tribal thing right there. You know, he's trying to be better, not trying to feed into the darkness, more light and more virtuous, still trying to be the strongest, but you know, more at peace with himself. He looks hopeful. He doesn't look angry. He doesn't look like he's stressed out or anything. Ryu's looking really good now. When I first seen this in the trailer, I was hyped. Oh, that's Ryu now? Ryu's built up, beefed up, looks insane. Also, a thing you can't really tell unless you have like the contrast turned up a little bit. I'll try to turn it up. Um, there's these scratches and like cuts and marks all over him on this. I don't really know like where that could have came from. And he's, you know, he's got a little story passed and he's trying to move on and get better. I really like this new redesign for Street Fighter 6. And let's go check out the Street Fighter 5 Ryu. Nothing big, nothing crazy. Got the white gi on, got the red gloves, the red headband. It's nothing crazy. It's just typical Ryu. At this point, you've seen it so many times. It's kind of like, it's almost like wallpaper. You don't really see it. Yeah, yeah, man, come on. But you know, you can't really compare this to this right here. This is this is good. And I'm not just saying that because it's nipples out. I'm not just saying that. I'm just he, he looking good. Next, we're gonna check out the one that everybody hates, Luke. People hate this character. I don't know why. But in terms of redesign, this design right here is perfect almost. I know people didn't like the spaghetti hair from before, but just look at him now. Gave him a new fresh little cut. Gave him a shirt. Didn't give him any shoes, but okay. Got the little vest, jacket, combo, zipper, yellow MMA type gloves. I really like it. He looks very casual. Looks like he's training at the gym. He's not going super hard. He's not being like edgy or try hard. He, he looks good now. And here we have it. Luke from Street Fighter V. I wasn't against this as much as everybody else was. I know that people did not like his spaghetti hair, the tattoos everywhere with the stars. There's kind of a lot of random shit going on. I'm not going to lie. And it's still kind it is he's really cocky no one knows who this guy is he's supposed to be the future of street fighter i i get it it's a little abrasive it's a little hard to come around on that but not the worst design for an entry character for the new series and he came in with this new design for street fighter 6 and they paid attention they gave him some depth they gave him scars on the face we don't know where he got his scars from that's you know storyline right there the only thing i think they actually kept was the dog tags right i don't think they kept anything else i think that's the only thing they kept it's not a bad look but um it's kind of a little weird kid ain't got no clothes on that's all i'm saying ain't got no damn clothes on put some clothes on but all right, now we have Jamie. Now, Jamie's not a returning character, but he has influence from characters from previous games, like Yun and Yang. He has influences from them. He's got the long hair, and with his uh, mechanic in the game, when he drinks um, his energy drink, that's called Hennessy, where I come from. I like his drip, man. His swag in the game, how he moves around, his like b-boy stuff, that aesthetic is dope. Plus, with the hair when it goes wild, and he gets that red face, it's very cool to watch his character in motion. The character's got dope, dope colors with the little half jacket, got his little liquor right there with the rope belt. The pants kind of have like a Gucci pattern or what's the pattern like um I don't know fashion that really famous brand is it Louis Vuitton if you look closely you can actually see the jug he drinks out of is in the pants as well he's on a shirt in his pants and to compare where he kind of gets influenced from at least from his fighting style we have Yun and Yang and I could kind of see some vibes they're getting the longer bigger flowy pants you know Jamie has those as well jackety vest thing he doesn't quite have that he's got something new style with long sleeves so kind of opposite sleeves with midriff open Yun and Yang went with no sleeves and covering the stomach at all times see they're modest you know they're, these are good Christian boys right here Yun and Yang the new representative for Yun and Yang is basically gonna be Jamie so I kind of get where they're going now we have the lady herself Chun Li Chun Li has aged like fine wine let me tell you they really show off how elegant she is as a lady like she looks very well put together she's older now she's mature and i really respect that she's still classy she's a lady chun li is a lady at the end of the damn day we have the classic asian garb right here a longer dress the bangles that she's known for but a little bit different redesign of bangles obviously the hair buns the chun li buns everybody knows in the white earrings chun li's still looking good that's all i'm gonna say chun li's still working it very elegant now we have chun li from street fighter 5 this is one of the most classic appearances of her um the spike bangles the high white 
shoes, uh, boots, I guess. Classic. I don't have a problem with this design at all, but I'm glad that Capcom actually took time into consideration and looked into, okay, this character's older now. Let's grow her up. Let's age her up. Let's make her more mature, but still keep like the aesthetics and things that people love about this character, like her blue colors, her flexibility, and her just graceful. Because she was graceful back then, but in her own different way. But now she's like a lady. That's the lady you take to dinner and you open the door for. Like, that's the actual lady right there. All right, now we got Guile. Yo, his old design don't got nothing on this. This Let's just get into it real quick. This man is yoked up. He's huge. He's so big, and it makes no damn sense. His arms are bigger than his head. Look at his, his biceps are bigger than his head. And he has big hair, mind you. Got the watch. It's time to go. Guile's killing it, man. He's got the full track suit. You know he has to step into that thing. That's not pants. That's a that's a jumpsuit. This man gets it out of his bed, wakes up, cracks his neck probably, sonic boom, and he hops into the whole jumpsuit. That's kind of wild. A full denim jumpsuit is a little, little crazy. With the gray hoodie too. Yo, he's sick. I like it. I like the new design for him. He's got these work boots on or military boots going on with the little goatee. We gotta talk about the goatee. How did I forget about the goatee, the facial hair? Man, it looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin. And the hair brushes it up in the trailer when they first released him. They showed a little trailer where he, you know, got the comb up and kind of like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. We smooth out here. He's squared away, as they say in military. He's squared away, man's nice. And this is Street Fighter V Guile, not bad. But come on, I, it's just regular old military man with the shirt. He's got big arms, hair. The glasses are dope. I wish he brought, I wish he would have kept the glasses. The glasses with this would just be OD if he would have kept the glasses. But come on, man, this this is dope. I, this is the best guys ever looked. But across the board, I think I'm saying that for most characters. I don't think there's a single character's design from Street Fighter VI that's not markedly better or improved than their counterparts from other entries in the, in the series. I don't think that this happened yet. Kimberly, baby girl. Now this character, honestly, this character did a lot and showed a lot of progressiveness from Capcom. Now, I know people hate that. Why are you adding the character just because they're black? All that stuff. Shut up. Get out of here. You're talking shit. You don't, you don't care. You just want to hate on something because you want to hate on it. They actually made this character look like a real black girl in all the best ways. They gave her the hips, obviously. They gave her junk and trunk. You know what I'm saying? They really did it. The hair's dope with the multiple colors at the end of it, like the bright turquoise color at the end of her braids. I really like this character design. It, it would be... I wish I could play this character, but she's not my type. She's a, like a fast, like quick speedster type of character, but it's not my bag, really. But... I do like her design. Her design is actually very, very fun. She's got a lot of influence from being a ninja. She's got the half shirt with the orange on it. Looks like kind of like African color scarf right here. Kind of got some like, you know, African oranges and greens in there as well. We like that. She's got the bandages on her arms or the wraps on her arms going all the way up with the, I think it's the green. I don't think the other ones will watch. I think that's like a arm band or like a rubber band, or something like that with the orange little gloves. I think it was a Converse supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be like Chuck Taylor's right there on the shoes. The kick's looking good too. Full design in the game. Yeah, it's supposed to be like kind of like Chuck Taylor, like Converse shoes. She's got the radio, which kind of goes into her kit with her um, super level three, where she, um, it's like an install. She pops it on, starts bopping with it with the headphones. She's in tune with her body with the music. They did a really good job of this character. Like the facial expressions and everything. And her wind poses and jumping up, being super happy and excited. Also, the fact that she's a track star, her aesthetic, or at least her body was kind of shaped like a track star, like an athlete. You can tell she has like a runner's body. A little backstory about where Kimberly gets her influence from, at least from the design. We're going to show the character as well. She gets, she was actually trained by Guy, you know, a practicer of the Bushin Ryu, of the Bushin Ryu style. I can't even say it right. Bushin Ryu, Bushin Ryu, whatever. He studied that style and he taught it to her. She's a third next successor. So let's check out Guy as well. We do see the orange. Um, we all obviously see the yellow and orange and we go back to her. We do see a bunch of that come through her armbands and her shirt. So we get the color scheme. The shoes, maybe the shoes too. I didn't even notice that. That's true. The shoes are kind of like her high tops. It's a good comparison right here with these two pictures. All these characters want to show their stomach. I'm sorry. All these characters want to show their abs. Back in the old days, they had better modesty, but it's all fine. They kind of move stuff around a little bit to bring it to like the new style. You put them side by side like you just saw, and it's like, oh, I see the influences now, obviously. These characters are supposed to look like each other. Do y'all smell feet? Ugh. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, all my jury mains out there. I'm sorry. I know you guys don't play her only because of the feet. It's only 99% because of the feet. But we have jury here. Jury's new design is actually, I'm not too thrilled about it. Not because it's bad. It's kind of simple. She's kind of showing some skin here. You can't really see it in this splash art, so I'm going to show a different image. So in a lot of skin, um, the color scheme 
with the zipper pants. I don't know what the hell those are. Those pants are cool. I actually do like that. It kind of goes into flesh tones, it looks like, towards her, you know, rear end. And it kind of did that for a reason. Obviously, this is a um, fan servicey character with the feet thing and her moveset being very heavily showing off her legs and her feet. It's kind of giving me like a 2009 goth vibe. You know that old video where the kids are like goth dancing in the subway and stuff? Like, that's what I think about when I see Jerry's design now. It's just like, you're edgy. All right, this girl obviously shops at Hot Topic. Uh, <laughs> But it's not bad, Jerry Mains, have your fun. But if we go back to her old design, Street Fighter V, I like this design better. Maybe because it's a little bit more kinky, I guess, with the leather all the way down, like the V-zip zipper thing going on. I like that a lot in the high collar. That looks cool to me. I like the, really the eye patch. I don't know why. Maybe because I like One Piece and the Pirates and stuff, but the eye patch is doing it for me. Yeah, man. I think, honestly, this design is better than the Street Fighter 6. So it can. I think it's the first one we can actually call not a glow up, because he doesn't look better. He actually looks a lot worse, but it's for story reasons. He looks worse as he looks disheveled. He looks upset. He's got stuff going on in his life from the story beats we've heard so far. Like, he's um, on the run. He's being framed for a crime he didn't commit. He's kind of got the um, Florida middle-aged dad look going on with the sweatpants and the wife beater out of it, the big old, those are like Ugg boots kind of. But you know what? In the context of the game, it actually works out pretty good. I don't have a problem with this design. I like the jacket more than anything. I think the jacket is what sold a lot of people on it. Just seeing it like sway around and move around is really cool. The hair is kind of shitty and I really don't like it because it looks so bad. It's like Robert's face and sometimes when he does a win animation with his face, like him smiling, his eyebrows look way too big. It looks pretty goofy to me. He's still good old Ken. He still can whoop that ass. Now we're looking at Ken from Street Fighter five and obviously he's smiling upbeat kim masters i like the black and red stripes on him i like that he went away from the gi the red gi that he used to have before this design is probably my favorite ken design i've seen he always had big eyebrows i see that now but doesn't mean i have to like it i don't like these eyebrows <laughs> they're too big but oh design's not bad with a little high bun hair looks way better there that's the only real crucial thing i can give for street fighter five i usually don't give them props or anything but the hair looks better here even though it looks like he just put it on his hair like a lego piece but that's that's it is what it is now we got blanca is he from brazil got the yellow got the green they really leaned into the like gorilla feral nature this time his mouth structure and like his arms the way he moves around the map is definitely more gorilla he looks like an actual like silverback now gave him a little jumpsuit though a little you know gave him some clothes now he's got a uh, blanca chan in the back you can kind of see him in there he's got blanca chan right there clipped to the back gave him this little like cowboy kind of overall thing right like it was short shorts on still got the shackles on but it goes with his character obviously got the representing the colors with brazil and everything and the bandana this design is cool it's it's not too crazy i think they did more for his style and his actual model than they did for his clothing like i said big gorilla vibes big gorilla vibes huge arms and i'm here for it now back to street fighter 5 blanca this man looks like he's about to get ready to get hunted on monster hunter world because he he looks like a monster hunter world character like, like something you have to fight honestly hair is huge everywhere super hairy crazy face got the short still but not the full like actual like overall thing it doesn't have that much going on they really lean into him being like a feral beast in a different way like he looks like it's like a mini boss like ogre or something with his gigantic super saiyan 3 hair now we got dawson the nightmare for everyone people do not want this man in the game, but he's here to stay. What I'll say about this design is that they toned off a lot of things. They toned back a lot. Um, he had the skulls before, and now they kind of have like these metal bands and bangles that kind of go to spirituality and the yoga practices and all that stuff. Took away the turban and just gave him the paint on the head, giving that Kratos vibe as well with the dot. And you can actually see his pupils, it looks like. I, maybe I can't tell, but you, it looks like you see his pupils now. The lips for his moves. You know, he does this fireball, his lips spoke out, all that stuff. That's classic. I really like this sash down here. I don't know what it is the sash with a little thing keeping it up it looks so like realistic like he's he just found some garments roped it together and he's out there definitely a lot more skinnier and, they, and the detail they put into this new i think it's the re6 engine or the re engine with the skin and the textures it looks very cool and he just looks like a decent upgrade not nothing too crazy kind of toned it down a little bit kind of concentrate on the simpler things but you know a good design redesign nonetheless dawson street fighter 5 no pupils the skulls the turban little shorts he has on with the rope that's putting 
moving on. It's it's just old Dawson. Nothing crazy. I think it actually makes sense. Tone him down a little bit. Make him look different. How do you make this character look different without changing his overall appeal? Take some things away. You know, take some things away and kind of like tone him down a little bit. E Honda. We didn't see a lot of this character during some of the promotion and everything, but we finally got some more look at him. He had a um, versus match versus Lily and his super animation when he swirls around makes a fire looks very sick. I actually like that a lot. What they've changed before, he didn't have a top. He just had the bottom with a little robe going down and his ass out basically. Man looked like a toddler. Now he kind of has a shirt. It's kind of like a toga pattern, um, but there's not much to go off of really. It's E Honda. It's more about his moves than anything. His, his design isn't what really people get appealed towards. It's how he plays and the hands and his big body nature. People like that a lot. The face paint and the expression though is actually wild. He looks like he's ready to go in. And it also looks like you see a little bit of gray hair in E Honda's head. He's getting along in years. I like when any game takes the time to actually show like, yeah, these characters aren't just staying 17, 18 for the whole run of the series. They're actually like aging, times passing by. I like that a lot. Now we're gonna check out the Street Fighter V E Honda render. Yeah, like I said, he's he's kind of just, his face paint isn't even really well shown. It's just the, on the red, on his actual skin versus like the white base that the new Street Fighter um, Six Honda. He's got the finger bandages and the wrist bandages. You know, he's a big boy, but he's still built, got his little abs out, you know? But it's just this big old band and this little old rug. That looks like a rug that you pull off the ground at like a like an Indian curry shop. That looks like he pulled it right off the ground, went and just put it on top and said, this is my loincloth now. And say, like, okay, Honda, why do you sound like Makunda from Africa? But whatever, it doesn't matter. I just did a stupid voice, I'm sorry. But you know, E Honda, people love him. Not a big fan personally, but you know, I'm glad he's in the game and his redesign is a lot better. Okay, now we got DJ. And honestly, I might be a little early on it now. I think he has the best redesign, honestly. His redesign is sick. Like, <laughs> you got the Jamaican colors. You got the green, the red, the yellows. You see all that with the black contrasting that with the leaves. They probably would have did a different leaf, but you know, it's kids don't play this game too. You can't really, you know, put the ganja in the game, honestly. But this man's looking dope. I love what they did with DJ, man. He looks like a damn threat. He doesn't look like a worse guy anymore. Big old metal chain with the medallions, man. This man's got style and swag and charisma for days. Big smile, that's nothing new, but still you love to see it back in the game. Got the sunglasses going on with the little slides. Not even slides, but a little flip flops it looks like. Actual flip flops. Man, kicking ass with the chonklas. Ain't that something. Looks like he has gold on his gloves, man. And also, like I've said before, DJ's age, you can kind of see some crow's feet right here in the eye, right? You can kind of see little wrinkles up top, you know, that, and it hasn't stopped him from being his best life because this man still ripped up Black Adonis status. This man, he got it going on. DJ killing it. All right, let's check out Street Fighter, not five, but Street Fighter four DJ from before because he wasn't in five. Let's see what they did back then. Can't really see the render, but they didn't do too much back then. And a lot of older designers, there's not too much going on because that really wasn't, it's kind of a thing now to like go hard into your character design. But you know, back then, maybe because of budget constraints, or whatever they had going on. DJ was never really like swagged up. He was never really drippy. Man, it's had orange pants, long braid dread thing, big old smile, and some orange gloves. And that's about it. But it's the best glow up. I mean, it's hands down. This is the best glow up. It's like a new character, man, with the long dreads too versus like the one point. Like, come on. They put some time into this. This man's looking looking sick. So now we have Manon here. And I can't actually compare her to another character from a four because I don't think there's actually any influences from past characters, but I can at least talk about her. Manon has a very good design design in my opinion. She's very tall. She's a ballet dancer, also a fashion icon, fashion idol. Her haircut is a little, you know, a little different, but if you're into fashion and that kind of stuff, you might, you know, go for a more eye-catching hairstyle. Kind of like ballet or athletic shorts, like gym gymnast shorts. These soft, like, looks like cushiony, like armbands. I don't really know what those are for. And it's kind of like gold necklace. Got a little bit of sex appeal as well, but I think she's more graceful than anything. She is very tall, mind you. We, let's, we gotta talk about this. She's a big lady. Look at her. She's bending down right here and she's now at the height of Ryu. If she'll stand up all the way, she'll be at least a head above this man. I love her moves and the little feathers that come out like swan feathers, like Swan Lake. The detail and the muscles from the RE engine, again, are just spectacular. They do a good job. With her far reaching normal, she has a couple like a low that's really far reaching. You really see how those ballet moves really come and help her out. As far as a new character entry in her design, I give it a thumbs up. Um, Anon's very interesting and maybe I might check her out one day, I might play her. Now we have Marissa. This is a new character as well and it's all about the gladiatory Greek fighting warriors like that's all she's about. You can see it in every fiber of her character so far. Like she has the big golden aura around her when she does her moves, the armor moves. She has a helmet, has a haircut, and a lot of people was not messing with Marissa. I like Marissa. That's big mommy energy right there. I have a little thing for like fit chicks. I think if you're a fit chick, that's like, whew, 
She's big though. She's a big lady. Probably bigger than Marissa. Probably the biggest character in the game, I think. She's she's giant. But she, you know, she still take care of herself. She's still a lady. Her nails are polished, you know? Veins popping out. She's she's intimidating. You kind of see the little designs in here. I don't know if those are Greek or Roman designs. You, you definitely see it on the bottom of her skirt. And this spear, kind of like a gladiatory spear, like, an, like a Colosseum spear, I guess. I like Marissa's design a lot. I might even play her, I don't know. She looks like a powerhouse. Now we have JP, supposed to be the new villain of Street Fighter VI. We don't actually know that. I don't think we have any confirmation that he's um, the antagonist of the game, but he looks like he is. I mean, he has like weird spooky purple demons popping out of his arms and stuff when he's playing. That's more about his gameplay kit in. Thing. Check it out, obviously, right here. He looks very regal. He looks like he's about to run for prime minister or something. He has a whole cape going on with this like gold thing keeping it adorned onto his back. These little tassels, like like the graduation tassels, it kind of looks like on top of his on, on his little shoulder piece. I didn't even notice this little like bird icon thing. I wonder if there's any symbolism behind that or what that might mean. Maybe he's representing a certain government or something. I'm not sure. But he's very drippy. He's very tailored, cleaned up, you know, suave, manicured. This man goes to the spot. This man takes care of himself. This man manscapes, he, whatever you want to call it. This man takes care of himself. Huge arms. And he doesn't even use like regular attacks. He uses like a cane and like projectiles. He's big for no reason. You just that big, but you don't have to use your arms, bro. You just use your little demons to do your fighting for you. This little petticoat, whatever you call it, combo. The nice orange freshness with the white shoes. With the no socks. You know he got swag. Man got no socks. That's drip. Come on now. Yeah, man. I, I think JP's design is really good. We haven't seen much about him. We don't know much about him. I think he's one of the least characters they've shown in the new gameplay for i don't know much about his kid at all but he looks very very dapper gives some very menacing vibes the haircut's kind of plain jane but it works with everything else we put it together it's like an ensemble it works together perfectly now we got the geef zang geef a lot of people were very happy with his design because the redesign they're going for now they're digging deeper into his wrestling to actual like what we see on a tv at least in the states like wwe smackdown raw wrestling actual pants with shoes on i didn't like the other one we didn't have pants on that was a little weird to me a little spandex kind of strange but it's all good his facial design is actually very different from how he used to look to me give him a little scar right there hairy chest as usual that's nothing different but his those pants are so shiny and big and he even has jiggle physics which is crazy scars over the body big body with the re engine you can definitely see like the freckles and textures in his body this is a really good redesign basically the only reason i really like it the most is like the obvious wwe reference like the actual wrestling i really like that part of it back at old zangief fucking mohawk straight back like a like a like a brick like somebody went to photoshop and got like a square brush and just went and made a little haircut for him it looks like why is his chest hair all the way down to his belly button that's strange is that supposed to be a happy trail that's gross if that's a happy trail i'm disgusted <laughs> and his little spandex on yeah I don't know. It looks weird. I don't like I don't like the Street Fighter 5 design for him at all. Sorry. Not a fan. Now we're looking at my second main, maybe. We'll see how the gameplay actually plays out when we get her hands on her whenever the game comes out. But Lily. Lily is T Hawk's daughter. So we have to show Mr. T Hawk, but let's just look at her on her own as a character. Big vibes from her family and her ancestry. The Native American vibes are all there. She's also Hispanic, so you've got some of those vibes as well. This club right here with the different spotted painted designs and the little markings is very cool to me. This character probably had the most cultural time put into them. Like they actually have a lot of references that I probably can't even appreciate because I'm not a part of that culture. Little jean poncho type of jacket button up thing right here with the necklace beads. Got the big hair. I forget what character I'm thinking of, but it's an anime character with that hair as well. I think there's a character from Jujutsu Kaisen that has that hair. I think that's what I'm thinking of. And these little Native American shoes that look very cool, especially when she's in motion. All these things fly around. She has the wind stocks when she flies towards a character. Those things kind of like fluff around with the RE engine working this magic. Now let's look at daddy. T-Hawk, obviously the blue jeans, the hands. Um, I think what they're trying to do with her design when she's moving in game, she has those clubs. I think it kind of mimics his um, hand posture from the other games as well. Open vest, full denim pants, Got the bangle around his arm and Native American, you know, like the feathers in his hair. It's all cool stuff. t Hawk didn't have a bad design and her design is up there with me. I think it's probably one of my favorite ones. Very culturally referential and um, I appreciate it. Woo! Now we got Cammy or how I call her Yammy. Um, this design is probably DJ at the top and then like Cammy probably could take over DJ's redesign because Cammy never had a bad design to me, but this design is very practical. Well, more practical, not very practical, but very cool how you could take more clothes on a character that's supposed to be very sex appeal oriented. You put more clothes on her and she looks even sexier. That's wild to me. We know we have Cammy with the big hair, spike coming straight down off her face she's stretching it out got the got the knuckle gloves up at the metal and 
the gauntlets as well. She's She still has very classic parts of her kit in her new design, but you can still see the new stuff. Got the Union Jack on the back of her little jean jacket, or is it a leather, blue leather jacket, I think, and the long tassels. I think those long like belt tassel things are supposed to take the place of the long braid she used to have but kind of think that's what the, the vibe is she still has something hanging off the back of her so you kind of can get the symbolism there and these yoga pants and her shoes and her whole fit man she is a baddie obviously but she her new design looks very cool the half shirt up top obviously got to show off the abs you know how capcom's gonna do it but i'm a fan it's very good it's it's very very good this design was had the internet freaking out very well welcome i like her pants on the spandex up the butt crap never really did it for me i don't i don't but other than that you know so this is the old camera design she's got a little spandex halfway not really wearing clothes thing going on coming up the front of her but not really much at the back you're supposed to be like a secret agent you're like got your whole ass out like i didn't get it got the beret up top showing she's a member of the special forces or the british special forces as well her old design wasn't bad but come on you can't compare to this design you can't compare this design is way way better i dare you to argue with me because it's obviously a lot better well guys that wraps it up we went through all their designs and also went through some of their old designs to kind of get a good compare and contrast about how drippy and how dope the new designs for street fighter 6 really are because honestly i said it before this is the best street fighter 6 has ever looked and it's undeniable at this point i mean i don't get how you could deny it i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here guys make sure you hit the like button also hit the subscribe button as well and deuces